Israel says it captured about 100 Hamas fighters, not in a tunnel or a military base, but at the Kamal Adwan Hospital in northern Gaza. The Israel Defense Forces released this video, which it said is from the raid on the hospital. Once the soldiers were inside and the location secured, the IDF says it arrested approximately 100 suspected Hamas militants. Israel says some of those arrested were dressed as hospital staff. Others tried escaping by hiding among civilians during the initial evacuation process. In addition to the suspected fighters, Israeli soldiers also found weapons, cash, and intelligence documents. Gaza's health ministry, which is run by Hamas and has an at-best tenuous relationship with the truth, says the Israeli soldiers damaged the hospital during the raid and detained hospital staff who were just trying to do their jobs. Israel admits to destroying some dual-use items, like oxygen tanks, which could be turned into explosive devices. Now, while Israel says the men it arrested were fully identified terrorists, the hospital was also full of wounded Palestinians and others just trying to flee the fighting in Gaza. After more than a year of war, Hamas is beaten down, but not completely destroyed. The terrorist group still holds around 100 hostages from its October 7th attacks last year. Not all of those hostages are thought to be alive, but there may be a deal in the works to bring at least some of them home. Egypt is working on a ceasefire proposal that calls for the fighting to stop for two days and the release of four hostages in exchange for some Palestinian prisoners being held in Israel. Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, is reportedly open to the deal, but this is the Middle East, so nothing is considered final until it actually happens. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Ryan Robertson. For more of our unbiased, straight fact reporting, download the Straight Arrow News app today or log on to san.com.